hi and welcome to the channel today i'll be showing you how to create unique printable stickers with me journey ai photopier and keto stickers are very fun to create and above all they're hot selling items on platforms like etsy redbubble society six and even on custom shopify stores i've seen businesses built solely on printable stickers and they are crushing it so in this video i'll be covering how to create those images in mid journey ai then we're prepping the images in photopier and finalizing our images in keto by adding text style and making our stickers stand out with that being said let's get started All right, so the first step is to create our images in mid journey. But before we do that, it's important to clarify a lot of questions I'm, I've been receiving in my previous videos concerning the commercial licensing or use of these images. So let's clarify that. So we'll come here and type in Axe and we're going to say image license. Okay, so Midjourney says that pay members have commercial rights to all the images they have made, even trial images, and may use them commercially even if they are no longer have an active subscription. Trial users may use images non commercially meaning if you have a free plan you can use those images commercially but so far you have a plate plan you have the license to use that commercially you can read more on the terms of service of mid journey i'll link that in the description box so with that out of the way let's start generating our images so what i intend to achieve with this video is we'll be creating a pack of stickers around fruits and vegetables basically to make it fun for kids to have it on their lunch boxes or to have it on your water bottles so as you could see i've gone ahead to create a couple of those so let me walk you through the prompt i used and then we'll be downloading these images and using them so we'll come to the bottom and click the forward slash and choose imagine and then we'll paste it okay so we say sticker because we want to create a sticker looking image and we say super cute so once you put super cute in mid journey it kind of gives it this eyes as you could see here that is very cute and then you put in what you you are trying to create so in this case broccoli and wearing sunglasses i wanted it to just look funky and then I use um, this term. Then I put contour vector and I wanted it in the white background. You could also put caption style if you want, but this particular prompt gives me the images that I'm looking for. And once you are satisfied with the prompt, you could just hit enter and it will start working or generating the images. So what I have done is I wanted to create fruits and vegetables that have both green and orange colors so i created um first of all broccoli and once i created it, it to give you multiple variations and then you could go ahead to choose the one you want to upscale so i chose to upscale number three which is this is one two three and when i upscaled it this is what it gave me i decided to make more just to check it out so once you get the images you like the next thing is to make sure that the quality of the image is high you could choose to click on the better upscale redo and it's going to give you a clearer image so you could see how this looks and you could see how this looks this is very detailed so let me zoom into it you could see how detailed this is compared to the previous image that has a little bit of blur so this particular step eliminates you downloading the images and then upscale but when you are using this function be careful that it might change the how the images look so if you don't want it to change the images you just use the first upscale and then use an image in larger but if you like your final product you could use that so what you need to do next is to just click on the image then you could right click and save the image and it's going to save on your desired location so i've saved a couple of those so you go ahead to create multiple fruits and vegetables so this is carrots that i created which is really cute so let's go down and see 
the final of scale this is nice let's zoom in and then i went ahead to, ahead to make asparagus so let's look at the final one have this these are really cute and the last one i made that i wanted to use is let's go down so this is pineapple so i've downloaded and saved all these images so the next thing would be to go to photopia we're going to bring in those images into photopia and start prepping them so so to access Photopia, you visit photopia.com. So Photopia is similar to Photoshop, just that it's web-based and it's free to use. You don't need to have any account to use it. Once you come to the home page, click on new project and this dialog box opens. And once it opens, you could choose your width and your height and the DPI. So I want to leave my width and height as five by five inches. And the DPI is 300 just to maintain the quality of the image and i'll leave my background as white and click on create and a new canvas is going to open that is clean and white and we're going to drag in our image so we can start prepping the image so i'm going to drag drag in the carrot that we generated so first of all we need to come here and right click and go to rasterize or else you won't be able to modify any part of this image so you would ask why do we want to modi mod modify this part of the image because we already have um, out an outline that seems like a sticker but we want to add some text and some style so we want to get rid of the white background so what we're going to do is come to the left here you could click on magic wand and you could change the tolerance of how it traces out the image so I'm going to leave mine at 150 and click in the image and it's going to see um, broken lines around the image. So what we're going to do is you hit delete on your keyboard. So I'll just hit delete and it deletes the background, but you could still see that there are black traces around. So I'll just go ahead and clean that up quickly. So to clean that up, you come to the erase tool and click it and then you use it to go around the image so let me quickly do that all right so i've removed all the traces i didn't want so we'll just switch off the background so you click on the eye here and it switches off so there's still a white space here we click on the magic tool click on the space delete and everything looks okay so the next thing we are going to do is go up to the file and go to export or before we do export we just want to let's just expand this a little bit so we go to the this tool the select tool and expand or move tool and expand this then we go to the export as and export as png a download box is going to open make sure everything looks okay and you click save and once you click save it's going to save on your desktop or the location you have chosen and you will have your image here so the next thing is to go to keto so we could start adding the text putting the style to make our sticker different and stand out so we come to keto keto is also a web-based design platform and i decided to use this specifically for stickers because keto is known to have very interesting um effects when it comes to characters you, when you're just scrolling down you could see very interesting ones that people are creating as you could see this or this and if you are going for things like um retro effect that is different and stands out keto is the platform to check out so you could see this it looks really different so we'll be using it to add our effect and make our stickers stand out so once you come to keto the home screen at the very top you could see new project so you click on new project so once it opens up it's going to ask you to choose your height and your width and you choose the unit so let's just use the same unit we use for our images so we could just say five by five and a good thing also about keto is it, it gives you control on dpi which some other platform doesn't give you control over so you could choose 300 just to be the same and let's make this our orientation and we'll click on create 
so we have the same canvas for our image so the next thing is to upload the carrot image so we could start making the design so you come here and choose upload so i've uploaded some of them so let's click on the carrot and then we would expand this so the next thing is to add a bit of text so where this is where you would see how keto you know does effects on text and is really cool so you click on text and i'll be choosing um something that is decorative so i could manipulate it a bit so i'll say show all so i'm gonna choose this i'll click on this and bring it down So what I want to achieve is I want to make the carrot stand on top of the text just to make it stand out. But let's work on the text first of all. So the good thing about this is you could make it um, look anyhow you want in terms of transformation. So first of all, let's just make it wavy. Okay. And you could see that it has nodes which you could manipulate and play around make it look really cool well, let's quickly change the text and we could change the font and the colors so I'll just double click on it and change it to carrot gives us vitamin a I don't like this font so let's click on it and change it to a different font let's use Antoine next thing is we need to change the colors I don't like the blue I want to have the same orange and greenish theme or let's use green for the background so we use this green then here we change it to white then here we could also make it light green make it very light okay so the next thing is to go to effects for the text so we already have um the shadowy effect on the text so let's play with the outline the outline is what's going to give us that sticker effect we are looking for so we just zoom in a bit this looks good so next thing is i want to play around with the way the text is flowing that's why i really like it so it gives me the functionality to manipulate the text the way i want it which i really like so this looks okay so another good thing about kittle as well is it gives you this functionality at the bottom here you could see layers so you could switch it off move it around which is really cool so i want to send this backwards so i could just right click and say to back so my carrot can stand on it so i'll move my carrot a little bit all right so i like the turnout of this so you could do this for all the fruits and vegetables you are trying to work on so the next thing because this has the effect and this doesn't so when you download this file and upload it to the platform of your choice or you want to sell it they would put in the background when they are making the stickers but for us to showcase how it's going to look i'll be showing you how to create a mock-up for this as a bonus but let's download this image first so the next thing you need to go do is go to the top here and click download and make sure the settings are right then you could choose remove background optimize quality and choose for digital use you choose png and you click on the png file and this is going to download so this is how it looks so let's go ahead to make this as a mock-up so you could see how it's going to look as a final product with the text underneath it so i'll be using um place it just to show you how it looks so once we get to go to place it i've opened one already and 
you click on each of these images to upload your image so you could see i've created um all the ones that i like so once i have this done i'll come here to the stroke color to say white because i want everything to have a white background it's not clear at the moment so let me download it so you could see how it looks like so you'll, i'll just come here and click download so you could see how it looks now and this is how your sticker is going to look this really looks cute for all the four i have so this is how you could create the bundle or you create single images as you like and then you could showcase this in different backgrounds you could put it on the laptop or for the keys we talked about you could put it on a lunchbox or water bottle to showcase how the stickers look like they look really really good okay so there you have it so if you liked this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe and um, turn up the bell notification to know when i post the next video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one